Alright, what's going on guys and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. In the last episode, we pretty much got the introduction to this game out of the way. We used Desmond for a little bit, we escaped Abstergo with him and Lucy. We kind of got a little bit of a meet and greet going with Rebecca and Sean Hastings and they explained to us how they would be helping us out while we are in the Animus providing different databases and whatnot. Uh, we used Ezio here for about 10 to 15 minutes. We haven't finished his little introduction yet. For the most part, we're done with it, but there's still a few more things I believe we have to do. Uh, I told you guys that if you wanted me to do the entire Ezio collection that I would do it and literally all of you guys said yes. I don't believe I, I didn't see a single comment uh, where anybody was actually having an issue with that. So here we are. We're back playing Assassin's Creed 2. We're going to do two Brotherhood and Revelations. I'm not entirely sure as to how long it's going to take for me to get through all three games because I am playing other games as well. It'll probably take a while, but you know, I'm in no rush. I'm sure you guys are in no rush. So... Uh, I haven't quite figured out yet as to how the titles are going to look. I am going to keep it as the Ezio Collection. I will incorporate the actual game title in there somewhere. Obviously, by the time this video is up, you guys will see how I've done it. But uh, as of right now, I haven't figured out as to how it's going to look. I don't want the title to be too long. So I'll figure it out. That's my problem. <laughs> but uh, with that being said, guys, yeah, let's just let's get back into it. I'm super excited. I always wanted to do an Assassin's Creed series, man. So this is really, really exciting for me. Uh, I am going the wrong way, though. I did get this viewpoint up here. Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> ah, crap. All right. I believe we're still. Yeah. No, don't chase me. Okay. Good morning, Father. Come with me. Is something wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night. And then this little visit to Christina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It... It... It reminds me of myself when I was your age. <laughs> I assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today. No, Padre. Avete la mia parola. Had you thinking you was pissed at you first? I prepared some documents here for Lorenzo Di Medici to review. I need them delivered to him. With haste, Father. Return to me when it's done. Okay, so we gotta deliver a letter. What is this gonna say? Oh. Al magnifico Lorenzo di Medici, mio protettore e amico. I have done as requested and completed my investigation into the Milano incident. I can confirm for you that it extends far beyond dissatisfaction with Duca Galeazzo Sforza's rule. It is my belief that other parties desirous of far greater gains manipulated events in such a way as to achieve their goals without being revealed themselves. Lampugnani, Olgiati, and Visconti are guilty of the crime, to be sure. And they have met fitting ends for their betrayal. But several other noble families are implicated as well, our own Francesco di Pazzi among them. Hmm. Their cause and motive is not yet clear to me, but initial findings indicate a plan, the scope of which is sure to disturb you. Best we continue this conversation in person, as I am hesitant to put my suspicion to paper. Reply with a place and time, and I will meet you there. I have also ordered Francesco be held by the Gonfaloniere until we can clear up this matter. Yours in confidence, Giovanni. Okay. So he has his suspicions and he wants to speak with him in person. Watch out for Ezio's and Yeah, I know, I know. The plots. Oh, I'm so looking forward to revisiting the blacksmith. No! Don't you don't you dare, don't you dare do it. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go up here. Yes, no, maybe so. 
Nope, I think I have to go on the other side of the building, and he should be there. Drop. Catch. And drop again. Ah, Ezio. Ben trovato. How are you? Come ben sempre. trovato. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid. And not expected back for at least another day. Hmm. I'll let my father know. Okay. Oh, there's another viewpoint here. Okay, so I think that I'm going to do all the viewpoints off screen. I'll do this one real quick. Um, just because I think it'll save time. And it'll be better just to have the entire map available while I'm recording the episodes. I think it'll give the game uh, a much stronger feel. Unless you guys want me to do the points, the, the viewpoints on screen. I don't really see why, but if you guys do, I'll do it. I just, I think it takes up time and gets in the way of progress while I'm actually recording the episode. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Dio vi benedica. Okay. Come, good folk. See the light from the fire. Taylor, see, I never used to visit the Taylors. Uh, did you guys used to? Anybody who used to play this game? You I don't know. I was. Oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> you call him a penis. You worry too much, Giovanni. Francesco Di Pazzi is in prison. The threat is ending. Famous last words, brother. Ah, hello, son. You remember my friend Uber? Good morning, Gonfaloniere Alberti. To you as well, young man. I trust you delivered the message. Si, sí, padre. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while, but for now, see if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you'll excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. Okay, so we gotta do a few more. Claudia! I love Claudia. Let me talk to her. Oh, it's actually her database. Okay. So, Claudia Auditore, date of birth 1461, profession student noble. The third child of Giovanni and Maria Auditore, and the first girl in the family. Claudia seems to have been a bit of a spoiled brat. It looks like her parents had to raise her dowry by 1,000 florins after she scared away all her potential suitors. A report from her school indicates she once attacked another girl for looking at her boyfriend and knocked her out cold. On the plus side, she's Ezio's sister, so you should be safe. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I thought there was more to her, but I think hey, there Claudia. is in, in Brotherhood. How are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. <sighs> it's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. You're better off without them. I loved him. No, Claudia. You only thought you did. He should suffer for what he's done. Wait here. I'll go have a word with him. <laughs> the change in emotion. I think that's Maria over there. And then she disappears. Makes sense. Why are you telling me to access the map? Oh, right, yeah. Okay, so there's one, two, three... Four more viewpoints? I thought Florence was bigger. Oh, we just don't have access to all of it yet. Excuse me, pardon me. I need to go talk to my sister's cheater. Santa Maria del Fiore. Hello. Duccio, it's a beautiful. Nothing but the best for you, amore mio. But what of Claudia? 
I thought you'd be <clears throat> promised to her. The father said I could do much better than an auditore. Oh, you fucking asshole. Ah, Birbante. Come, let us walk a bit. Walk? I had something <laughs> else in mind. Oh, Duccio. Mm. She's not even pretty. Hey, Lurido Porco. Ezio, my friend. Ah, ma che ti piglia? Hey, get you insult jet, my bitch. sister for raiding around with his puttana. W what are you talking about? I saw the gift you gave her. Or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtu. You broke her heart. Ha! And now I'm going to break your face. Oh, because you she's spread her legs me. for you. Yeah, I'm going to fucking beat time your for ass. Ah. Grab him. Uppercut him. Bam. Your mouth. Bam. I could have taught your sister a great many things. She's lucky to have had someone like me. Bastardo. Keep stomping on him. Keep fucking stomping on him. Get up. You know, get up. Get up. I'll fucking knee you instead. Uh. 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 Stomp on him again. Bam. Right in the fucking balls. Basta. Mi arrendo. Stay away from my sister. Um, can I do it? Can I hit him again? Yeah, I can hit him again. Mother like bitch. You bitch. Bitch. Okay, I can't grab him or anything, so. Okay, so that's that. Heralds. I love heralds. If a herald tries to draw attention to your assassinations, I bet you can bribe him to keep quiet. Okay, so that's so that's what Rebecca was. Funny, I never noticed that Rebecca eighty four. That was that was Rebecca. I don't know why. For some reason, when I used to play this game, I used to think that was like a different time. Like that was a time we were in. But it's just it's just Rebecca. Okay, so proclamations, local laws, news, market days, and advertisements were all called out by heralds. Since many Renaissance Italians could not read, special laws had to be put in place to protect them from the crowd due to extreme displays of unhappiness following the announcement of tax increases. <sighs> so, you can bribe heralds to keep the guards away from you, is what Rebecca was saying. I still can't believe I never noticed that when I first played the game. Oh, the good old days. Okay. Whoop. Okay, let's go say hi hey. to our mom. Hey, ma. Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno, a voi, madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come, it's not far from here. Let's go. Okay, so we have her database. I'm not going to read all of these because some of them are, are really, really long. So for this one, if you guys want to pause and read it yourself, uh, feel free. I'll scroll down and you guys want to read uh, up on her, just pause the video and you can read it yourself. So let me get down here. I don't want to go too fast. Okay. I'm still going to read some of them, but I don't want to read them all because, you know, it takes up time. You know, I'm, I'm on a time limit, so. What fight? Per piacere. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco di Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at it? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still, I wish there was another way. You'll I just pickpocketed him. <laughs> Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass. <laughs> I forgot you could do that. I thought you had to um wait before you could pickpocket people. I don't know. 
Okay. Come on, Maria. Can you just go a little faster, please? Here we are. Yep. Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. Leonardo! This is my son, Ezio. Molto onorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. <laughs> back to your house then. Si, si. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? I love Maria's character. Okay, so... Um... So Ezio, yeah, I what do you do? He's been working for his father. Ah, you're to be a banker. For now. And you, Art, was it? Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice, but I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, makes perfect sense, dude. or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo. I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. I love how they brought Leonardo into this game, man. Leonardo's such a good character. He's such an interesting character, too. He's honestly one of my favorite parts about the Ezio trilogy. Okay. Drop it here, right? Thank Bam! You for your help, son. Don't let me... Okay, so Leonardo's database. The illegitimate son of a notary and a peasant woman. Leonardo da Vinci was raised in Tuscany. Like many destined to be superstars, he had no surname, Vinci being the town in which, in which he was born. At age 14, he was apprenticed to a Florentine painter. I'm not going to try pronouncing that. Who <laughs> taught him chemistry, dra uh, drafting, painting, sculpting, and modeling. When he was 20, Leonardo established his own workshop and then traveled across Italy, eventually painting his great masterpieces The Last Supper in 1498 and The Mona Lisa in 1503 through 1507. During his travels, Leonardo studied the world with unquenchable curiosity, recording his observations and mirror writing within his notebooks. He created designs for a helicopter, tank, solar power, and a calculator, among others. He was also an engineer, designing garrisons, cannons, and movable barricades. Despite this epic list of accomplishments, Leonardo was hounded by his patrons for his chronic procrastination. Pieces frequently took years longer than he anticipated, and many were never finished at all. Leonardo also had a... Uh... Tumultuous? I don't know how I've ever pronounced that, right? Love life. Accused of sodomy in 1476. He was most likely homosexual. Salai, his assistant, was accused of stealing and spending too much money on clothes, but was also probably Leonardo's lover. Leonardo painted several pictures of Salai, I also don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, including his famous St. John the Baptist, and left the Mona Lisa to him when he died in 1519. So that's everything on Leonardo da Vinci. I do believe it. Duties. Actually, wait a second. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Ankio. Yep. I do believe they um add more into it in Brotherhood. I believe in Brotherhood he has a database as well, and I think they add more to it in that game. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, that's right. What are you doing out here, Petruccio? You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. If I get them for you, will you go back inside? Yes, I promise. Gotta go get his feathers. Okay, so someone also said in the comments that they would like for me to collect all the feathers in this game. And that was a horrible jump. Uh, I don't know how many feathers there are in this game. If you guys really, really want me to do it, I will do it. Uh, I was told that there's actually a cutscene. I've never collected all the feathers before. So, uh, I might I might actually do it because it, it would be new for me. And I don't think I've ever seen that supposed cut, uh, cut, 
scene that is um Ketsio, come on man. <laughs> Make the jump dude, jeez. There we go. Oh, I need to really work on my Come on. I've never failed this mission before. I do not want to fail it now. There we go. And there we go. Got the last one. Okay. I can speak. I need. I need to work on my um running in this game, man. I used to be really good at scaling rooftops. But yeah, I've never seen the cutscene before, so um, I might actually do it. That's obviously something that I would have to do off screen because I don't think you guys want to see me running around for like four hours just collecting feathers. Here we go. Here, as promised. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will. In time. Petruccio. That's how he said his name, right? It was Petruccio? Some, some shit like that. I, I, I suck at pronouncing their names. I've always been so bad at it. <laughs> Ezio, come in, son. I need these packages delivered to associates of mine in the city. I also need you to retrieve a message for me from a pigeon coop not too far from here. Va bene. I'll get it done. Come back here when you're finished. There are some things we need to discuss. And please, my son, stay out of trouble. Hmm? Something tells me he's not going to. <laughs> Not going to say. Can we can we read this letter? No, we can't. Of course not. And then he got a third one, which I don't think we can read this one either. No. All right. Sorry. I think we need to go up to the rooftop. Climb up here. Aha! There we go. <clears throat> what is... Oh, those are guards. At first, I thought that was the Potsy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go to the other rooftop now. Oh, wait, no, we can go right there. All right, jump. No! Oh, I thought I, I thought I was gonna. Oh, I thought I was gonna hit the ground. I have a delivery from Giovanni Adatore. Yes. Were you followed? No. Why would I be followed? Give me the package. Tell your father that they're moving tonight. He should as well. Who's moving? What's going on here? Wait! Come back! Explain yourself. Talk about trying not to sound suspicious. All right, get up. Why can I climb that? Okay, whatever. I guess we'll use the ladder like a normal person. Goodness gracious. I need to do some practicing off screen. Just spend like an hour just scaling the rooftops. Ooh, that's Patsy. There we go. You Giovanni's kid? No, idiota. He just happens to look exactly like the man. <laughs> Give it here. 
Don't worry, boy. We're not contagious. At least I'm not. <laughs> I also remember the first time I played this game, I never noticed that he was actually, like, being intimate with, um, a whore. At least he, I assume she's a whore, because she had the, the cat, you know, ear-styled hair. And only the whores dress like that in this game. Okay. Let's go around here. And climb up. My god, has his mind snapped? You're just jealous because you can't climb buildings like me, so... And drop, catch, drop, catch. Should be okay. Damn it, still took damage. Hello, father. Father? Federico. Oh! I hit triangle! Serezio! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! What happened? Where is everyone? They took your father and brothers to the Palazzo della Signoria, to prison. And my mother, my sister. Ezio. Claudia. Are you all right? Yes, but mother. She's in shock. They. when she resisted. Ah, it for pisses here. me off. Is there some place you can take them? Yes, yes, to my sisters. Good, do that. In the meantime, I'll go see my father. Be careful, Messer Ezio. The guards were looking for you as well. Yeah, they're gonna find a pissed off Ezio. Reach Giovanni's cell, let's go. Obviously, for, for those who didn't know, that means the guards raped her. Her resisting. <laughs> Rape mom, mama. I wish, I wish you could find out which guard did that, and then like, I don't know, torture him. Okay, maybe not torture him, but take him out. Uh, you need to go around the you need to go around the back end, right? I think you need to go over here. Yep. Wait, this is the right spot, right? I think I think it is. Okay, hold on. I remember the first the first time I did this, I I, I spent like an hour trying to skill this fucking building. <laughs> I had no idea where to go. Okay, yeah, this is the right spot. Um, jump here. Crap! No. You want to jump here. I don't want to get spotted either. Oh, go, 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 go. Then go here. Slide over. Up. Hop. There we go. I can make this jump, right? I can. And get how am I supposed to continue climbing? What the devil are you doing over here? How the hell do you see me from down there? <laughs> how the hell did he see me? Who who just naturally walks around looking up? I'm all the way like basically at the top of this building, you're on the ground and you're just just looking up. Fucking weirdo. Ezio, father, what's happened? Took a bit of a beating, but I'm all right. What of your mother and sister? Safe now. Aneta took them. Yes. Wait, you knew this would happen? Not the way it did, and not this soon. Doesn't matter now. What do you mean? Explain. There's no time. Listen closely. Return to the house. In my office is a hidden door. Use your talent to find it. 
Beyond lies a chest. Take everything you find inside. Much of it may seem strange to you, but all of it is important. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Among the contents is a letter, and with it some documents. I need you to take these documents to Mr. Roberto. He was with me in the office this morning. The Gonfalonieri, I remember. Now please, tell me what's happening. Are the Pazzi behind this? There was a note for you at the prison. It said, go, Ezio. Go now. Damn. Okay. So, now we need to... What up? One thing, one thing I've always wondered. When Giovanni says, he says, use your talent. So, obviously, he's referring to Eagle Vision. Uh, everybody knows that. Does Giovanni have Eagle Vision? Because, like, he never... You never see him use it, obviously. You never, he never talks about it, except for, like, right then and there. I mean, you'd assume so, because it's all part of the same bloodline, I believe. Everybody here in the Assassin's Creed bloodline, or Assassin's Creed storyline, are descendants of Altair, who had eagle vision. So, I mean, I guess it's only fair to assume that Giovanni had it. I don't know, it's just something I've always wondered. Crap. Because I never talk about it. I don't think there's any, um... Hold on. Let me get up here. I suck at playing and talking at the same time. There we go. Like, is there anything anywhere? Because I haven't played all the Assassin's Creed games. Like, I haven't played, um... I've never played... What, what's the one... Was it? A Liberation? I've never played Liberation. I don't know if they talk about it in that game. Or Chronicles, I believe. Father said there was a door here. No, not there. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Interact. Alright, is there anything in this room? I've never looked around this room before. I believe this is the only time you can actually be in this room as well, so I want to check and see if there's anything here that I missed in the past. Nope. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's just this chest. Alright. Oh, the music! Ah, uh, you just gotta let that music ride out. Name an assassin with better with a better theme than Ezio. That's right, you can't. You can't name an assassin with a better theme than Ezio, because there is none. Alright, select your sword. At last we have the suit, the outfit. And now the game finally starts. Okay. Traditore! Hey! What's with the swords? Aren't you supposed to arrest me? No. He's here. What do you want then? For you to die. Well, it's not going to happen. So why don't we explore other options? Okay, I want to counter. There are no Hit me. other options. Oh. I love I love the way he executes people. Go on, do it again. Swing. <laughs> right down the back. Why would I switch to my fist? I have no reason to do that. Okay, so I need to go here now. Move. Okay, so now we should be able to go to the blacksmith, right? Because before I wasn't able to do that. Because I want to get two swords and whatnot. Pickpocket and everybody, because I'm already wanted. Damn it. Was what we're dying for? I ain't dead, boy. Out of the way, Woo! It's your auditory. What are you doing here at this hour? 
It... I, I don't... Wait, child. Take a breath. Collect your thoughts. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Ah. Uh, I see now. It's a misunderstanding, Ezio. I'll clear everything up. How? The documents you've given me contain evidence of a conspiracy against your family and against the city. I'll present these papers at their hearing in the morning, and they'll be released. Thank you, Signore. Of course, my child. Do you need a place to stay? You're more than welcome here. No, grazie. I'll meet you at the piazza. Don't worry, Ezio. Everything is going to be fine. And that was the smartest decision Ezio ever made. Okay, you know, I'm gonna go get this viewpoint real quick. I'm not crazy, I just like to climb stuff. What's so crazy about that? Dude, the freaking music in this game, man. Okay, I want to check this real quick. Okay, so leather costs 2300 florins. I don't have that yet. Surely there's no need to be rude. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, go. Excuse me, pardon me. Can you heal me? Thank you. Much better, friend. You'll see. Out of my way! I want to go around here and... Bam. <laughs> I fell into it. That's end, yeah. Don't you dare. Giovanni Auditore, you and your accomplices stand accused of the crime of treason. Have you any evidence to counter this charge? Yes, the documents that were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents. He's lying! Need to get closer. In the absence of any compelling evidence to the contrary, I am bound to pronounce you guilty. You and your collaborators are hereby sentenced to death. You are a traitor, Roberto, and one of them. You may take our lives this day, but we will have yours in return. I swear we will! Father! Hey! Grab the boy! He's one of them! I'll kill you for what you've done! Guards! Arrest him! Ah, oh, crap. Dude, these fucking guys are a pain in the ass. How about that? Oh, I'm out of here. Bye! Uh. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, go. Climb! <laughs> I hate that. I hate it when he doesn't climb. Stop standing there! They're gonna throw rocks at you. Yep. I fucking knew it. Okay, okay. Honestly, we're just gonna run. We're just gonna run. We're just gonna run. No, 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 no. Okay, here we go. We got a ladder. Oops. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get in, get in, get in, get in. 
Yes, we're good. Oh. It should be alright now. There we go. sad scenes ever though when they all die I felt bad for the youngest man the kid was like 8 years old or something like that right I think he was like yeah I think he was like 8 I've got a little request for you I've identified several strange markings that I've discovered right across Renaissance Italy now I don't know what they're doing there but I want you to help me find out Rebecca has marked their general location in the database with an eye icon, and she's made them glow as well. Keep an eye out. Okay. Serezio, thank God. I've been looking everywhere for you. I, I couldn't stop them, Annetta. I tried, I swear. But there were so many guards. Please, come with me. We need to get you off the streets. What of my mother and sister? They're safe. I'll bring you to them. No. It's too dangerous for us to travel together. Tell me where to go and I'll meet you there. My sister's house. Just north of the Duomo. I'm on my way. Did they just drop one? <laughs> Alright. So uh, feel free to pause the video, guys, if you guys want to read this. I'm just going to let this be... This could be the last thing I do. Oh, actually, there really isn't much there. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So uh, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. I think I've been recording for about 30, 40 minutes now. Um, expect another one of these in either an hour or tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure. It depends on how long these videos take to upload. Yesterday, uh, I was having issues uploading something, so I had to like cancel a couple videos that I wanted to be uploaded. Uh, hopefully, today it works better. Uh, I'm definitely I'm gonna make sure this one at least gets uploaded but uh, if the other one isn't uploaded as well because I'm gonna be I'm gonna continue playing right now and continue recording uh, so either expect two Assassin's Creed videos today or one today and one tomorrow and uh, with that being said guys yeah I guess that's it goodbye